Hello, it is uh, the 11th of January and we are in that period uh, of the year where we're playing catch up with uh, all the wedding films from the end of the year. I've got about four, three or four left to edit. Um, so we're not doing any vlogging for a while. So I thought I'd take a little bit of time to do a few wedding film commentaries where literally I am going to talk over the top um, of uh, a wedding film. This particular one is the latest one we've just released today. Um, this is Bridie and Simon at Style Lodge. Uh, this is approximately a 10 minute film. Um, I'm just gonna go over the gear and techniques or anything that I feel might be of interest. Uh, I might pause in a couple of situations just to uh, add a little bit more. But for now, let's press play. 363 days ago. On the so we start off with Bridey uh, introducing the film uh, into the bridal preps. We've got a couple of details just about the dress there. That's Nana's bracelet, so that was important. Um, so the music just starts to kick, kick in. We use on this film all the music is from Artlist, uh, which we use quite a lot. The uh, titles coming into the music, into the beat of the music. So the bridal preps was shot all with the Sony A7 III's uh, with just the 85 and 35, bit of a mixture. Um, it was a really relaxed situation. And um, so we could just move around. The girls were happy for us to be there. Uh, totally ignored us, which is good. Uh, we have the uh, father just coming in. Um, now, the position in here is, I like to be low for the speeches just so I get the eye view or possibly vantage point of a guest just so it looks more natural so the bridesmaids are doing a joint speech and we're just using the sort of piggyback effect the tx sony tx 650 on the microphone which you can see there which is perfectly fine it's something that everybody uses these days on this person's here present. And we're cutting straight to the, I'm gonna pause it now. Um, cutting straight to the ceremony just for uh, the vows. Now, this is a static shot at the back. I think this was this was a Sony A7 III, just with a kit lens actually. It was a 16 to 70 uh, Zeiss lens F4, um, which we only use really just for static shots because it's a bit of a flat lens, but it's perfectly fine for these type of things. So just on the right there, you can see the photographer, Damien Brandon, and myself just tucked away to see the back of my white shirt there. I do make a conscious effort to try and stay out of my own shots, but it's not always possible. I don't think it matters because the focus isn't on me at all. It's on these two in the middle. So press play again. And you can see what, what I'm actually shooting there. It's all handheld on the 85. I've uh, got actually a static camera there as well, just to cover the same angle, just in case I move around. The audio on this is captured with the Tascam uh, DR10, which is on the groom's lapel. To love and to cherish, till death do us part. So cutting straight back to the bridal preps um, as we're sort of getting nearer to the point of putting the dress on. Brandy Kate has many of Marie's caring traits. Who in turn she Again, the father of the bride is using the task cam, but there is uh, a Sony TX uh, attached to the mic just as a backup. Brandy Kate definitely has the Irish genes running through her veins. Her nan, another feisty... Good smile on this bride. She was smiling all day. You couldn't wish for anything better, really. Has kept her strong Again, this is the uh, the wide 16 to 70 at the back, just as a backup. We feel Brandy Kate and Simon are very well... So we're coming to the end of the bridal preps and just getting some... We didn't get them to pose for anything, really. We were just getting things as it happened. Simon visited our Bit of a mixture between the 85 and the 35 again. For a meal and a chat. At the end of the meal, when Bridie Kate was out of the room, he said, If it's okay with you, I'm going to... Again, low down, shooting through the tables. When we picked ourselves up off the floor, <laughs> we were delighted and could not be happier for them both. So, uh, the reveal shot, we had Bridie coming down and then 
once he came, I just said to the, because the father of Raj would say, what do I do? You know, am I allowed to ask him? Just do whatever you need to do. We'll just cover it. You know, if you want to hug it, we want a natural one. If you want to hug it, if you want to kiss it, whatever you want to do, you do. And he did. So I'm going to pause it now. Um, not particularly this shot, but in between the bridal preps and the uh, arriving at church, it was about 20 minutes, but it turned into 30 because the sat nav in my car needs updating and there was a new road built to so going down a road that didn't show up on the map. So I got a bit stressed out. Luckily, I had Damien Brandon in, in the passenger seat. He got his Google Maps out and then we had to turn around and we, we, we got there in time, but there wasn't, it was a bit uh, a bit of a rush in between arriving and then obviously having to set up because when I arrived, I've got to set up the static camera at the back, uh, the microphone on the lectern, the microphone on the groom, and any of the little bits which I may use before the bride arrives. Perfect for Bridie. Um, it's John Lennon. I am the Eggman, I am the walrus. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Here we go. So just a quick few shots of things that happened in the church. Uh, I always like to get the rain. If it's raining, I want to see the rain because it's part of the day. It was, it was love at first sight. For me. No, not for Bridie, she wasn't that fussed. Um, but I'll always remember. Again, the groom's wearing the Tascam on his, uh, sorry, the uh, Sony on his tie, no, Tascam, sorry, on his tie with the ta Tascam, uh, sorry, so I'm getting myself mixed up. The Sony on the mi microphone, there's a backup. And then I got to know her. And here comes the bride. And luckily she was nice. I love this line. <laughs> she could have been a psychopath. Just wait for the laugh a little bit. So just get a quick shot of her as she arrives and then shoot inside to get her walking down the aisle. Uh, we sort of split this up with uh, the mother of the bride um, with a reading. And is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. Backup static shot of the back helped me out on that one because it was a little bit cluttered at the front. So yeah, that can happen at a, a wedding. And to endure whatever comes. Love uh, again, um, one of the Sony recorders on the lectern. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Son. All handheld on the 85 here. And pause it just there. So again, <clears throat> for this wide satin, you can see me and Damien just on the right there, just getting them final shots before they go in for the kiss. Press play. My husband and I. <laughs> I would like to thank each Double and every kiss, one of you in this room for being here today. It was like it when a bride does uh, does a speech. So usually, um, this, this was a Catholic ceremony. We'd we'd finish constant filming after the bidding prayers, and then just capture any of these little uh, sections just as small clips because they are important. But we really we need to be packing up and getting ready to to get out and get the you know if there's a confetti shot outside or walking down the aisle, anything that's going on really. I first realised just how special Bride So was music finishes at end of scene, uh, uh, when they went cut that up with the introduction of the uh, weekend, best man. Uh, in the Lake District. I called him up one Sunday morning just to say hi and Simon replied. Uh, tracking shot, I, sh I think shot at F1.8 on the 35, just locked onto him all the way down so it kept them in focus. My mind leapt to the only logical conclusion, zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Simon's and then once they're down the aisle, it was raining, so everyone stayed inside and just get a few sort of hug and kissing shots, congratulations. They had the uh, group shots inside. So when it comes to the group shots, I don't really want to get too many where they're looking towards camera because the photographer's going to get that. So I'll get a different angle where it's from the side or more close up, you know, just probably before and after he takes the shot, just so they're not posing. You could have chosen from countless friends to give this speech and I am honoured that you chose Best man again uh, with right. the uh, Tascam on his tie and the Sony as a backup on the, on the handheld microphone. And so from one middle child to another, <laughs> he's all yours now. 
So a few detail shots to introduce Style Lodge, uh, which was the reception venue. Um, nice shadow on the cake there. And this girl's smiling all day, even though it's raining, brilliant. So I'm just going to pause it there, because I just want to explain that we prob I probably do this in most films, just to add that, that Edgar Wright, well, people did it for Edgar Wright, but that's sort of where someone walks past camera to introduce a new shot uh, with a bit of a whoosh. So you'll see it coming up, press play. Uh, now. So I have a change of pace in the music because we're in the reception. Things start moving at a faster pace. There's music involved. I mean this in the best possible way, but Bridie's looks are her least favourable attributes. So um, when he came to the couple people. shots, we were limited because it was raining. So we used sort of the table and glass yeah, around it, uh, add a bit of light, just any work quite well. You know, think of herself last considering, and um, just get a couple of nice moments with them. So, living with Bridie is great. <laughs> <laughs> Very helpful person. Before um, we show them entering for the uh, wedding breakfast, which we had on a sort of a low static uh, camera. With any walking in show, you usually have to like just play by ear because depending on where the table's set up or anything like that. Uh, again, the uh, group shots, so we just had them dancing and playing around and just a different angle than the photographer would have got. And, and then we move straight into the evening reception with the cuss and the cake, which I had lit from the side. I had one of my lights just thrown down on them just to make them pop out from the background. Um, and then straight into the first dance, we had two lights for this. Um, again, just to make them pop out. Uh, all filmed in slow motion. Just to add a bit of a dreamy quality to this section. Simon, you've made my dreams come true, and I love you. Um, so and then we have the bride just I finishing off any of the vocals the and then introducing the uh, night reception. Please get up and have a good dance. So we ramp up the music, a uh, bit of sax because there's a sax player there. So when it comes to the uh, the dance floor action, I like to get in there. People are drunk, people are used to it, so you can just get in there with the camera on the dance floor, low, all handheld, get in with the band, close to the instruments, you know, just so you can see like, uh, some of the guitars being plugged as we see there and just people having fun really, just to end the film on a big high. Um, and stay until we, we don't really have a cut off point, just stay until we feel that we've got enough to finish the film off. <laughs> you usually get some strange shots on the dance floor. So, credits in, bride and groom's name, and that is the end of the film. Uh, luckily, they watched their film either last night or this morning, so they sent me a message, uh, which I will quickly read, and we have received and watched our video. I can't express how grateful I am to you. Your hard work and creativity has captured the day so perfectly. You have done an incredible job, and we are both delighted with it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so, if you think these commentaries are a good idea or you'd like to see more, then please uh, drop us a comment in the section below. Uh, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, or please subscribe or give us a like. Uh, but for now, bye.